don't think Dennis is going to hang out. Everyone say bye to Dennis. He's leaving bye already. Dennis. Bye, Dennis. Dennis. Welcome. Well, that was... Wow. That was really in unison. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you we... guys did very well there. You know, I kind of miss us being up on that screen. Caleb, you should go f- fiddle around with that and get us on there while yeah, I... Caleb, oh, yeah, the, uh, fixed it. The I don't Xbox know how that works Twitch at all. Well, you you just got to gotta turn the computer on and get it. No, no, no. The, the Xbox Twitch app is what you had. Okay. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and... So we yeah. can talk to the chat and people? Well, yeah, we can see it. Oh, wait, we, got, we already people. got someone in the chat. They said, nice. what's up, iPod Hoops? iPod Hoops! Yo, what's up, iPod? He said, you iPod. made this music. I don't remember. It was some free... Some free YouTube, YouTube music. Free YouTube music. <laughs> wait, wasn't the intro music... Isn't, wasn't that... Uh, That's on the uh, archive. Outcast. That's the archive. That's, the, uh, That's YouTube. the YouTube. Say, if he doesn't know who that is, it's a major <laughs> problem. Anyway, this is Chat Pack Live! Not to be confused with Chat Roulette. Yeah, anyway. I mean, or, or we're not could. really close. Yeah. I guess you could yeah. confuse them. This is our yeah. live podcast right here on twitch.tv slash chat underscore pack every Sunday. We hop on. We talk about some random topics. We play video games. We're getting better about it. We're going to get more and more into it. We're starting to get this stuff figured out. We got Trevor. We got Ben. We got Paul. We got coming back as our reigning guest star super champion, <laughs> Matthew Labar. And we got... I just feel like for some reason I got to put a little bar because you got a simple last name. Thanks. And we got Caleb still sucks. Yeah. <laughs> the bar is just a cool last name. It is Thanks, a cool guys. last name. I appreciate and that. General distaste when I was announced. I heard a ugh from Ben. My oh. water was just. We're excited to have you back, Caleb. <laughs> oh, two weekends, okay. two weekends in a cold. row. You have left us now, so mm-hmm. it's good to have you back. Thank you on for a, two weekends for the podcast, though. Only one for the podcast. That's true. Yeah. You were off uh, on a hot romantic getaway mm. this weekend. <laughs> Hunting steamy over at the uh, the recent channel homestead. Ooh, gross. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I saw that Snapchat of uh, of the um, of the goat that was drinking out of the bottle, oh, and that yeah. was ridiculous. We have a we have a new uh, dairy goat. Um, although it's not, it's, it's like a dairy cool. goat by breed, like a Kiko, I believe they're called, or something like that. What does that um, even mean? But a Kiko, it's like the specific breed of goat. Um, I really don't know too, too much about it, so if people are fact-checking here, they're probably going to find lots of holes in it. You could let us know, actually, that'd be great. Could we, can we start off that. with some goat facts? Do you have any goat facts for us? Um, not all know. goats faint. Really, Everybody seems to tell me... They don't. really milking yeah. this goat thing for all that it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And it begins. So starting off strong. It's the first cheesy joke. <laughs> oh, man. Um, no, but um, this goat that we have, uh, Hank is his name. Hank. Actually, he's adorable. It's not Keith. Um, no, it's not Keith. You don't gotta watch out for him. <laughs> um, but Hank um, is, I'd say, like a month and a half, two months old now. Mm-hmm. And um, does he? We faint? got no. None of our goats faint. Actually, Wait, he I drinks thought, out of I a baby all, bottle. I thought all goats fainted. Yeah, not all. Faint. Is no, that, that is a common a... misconception. That's what he was told. That's what he's saying. Thinks that. Yeah, I was just giving. Ben, are you even paying attention? Name one person. Saying? Name one okay, person. Okay, actually, who that. what? Who thinks that all goats faint? Who knows enough to know that goats faint? Every single time I mention know. that I have goats, they're like, are they fainting goats? I'm like, no. But usually. doesn't them saying that they're fainting goats as opposed to normal goats imply that they think that not all goats faint? I guess my, you know, I misspoke. I don't think everybody thinks that all goats faint as much as everybody really wants me to have fainting goats. And I, all right, so I'm, I'm sick stop, of disappointing Caleb, I'm going to stop you right here. I asked for facts. And so okay. far, Zippo. I've been no interrupted facts. by the guest speaker over here. <laughs> well, I've been tearing down your, That's your wall of lies. <laughs> okay. I've, well, I've been at it with the hammer of truth. I don't really have any goat facts, but I can tell you that this guy, Hank, uh-huh. is our goat who is like a dog. Like, we, I walked over to the pen to give him a bottle last night, and uh, I started walking over there because, like, usually the goats, you can't just call them and they'll come to you. And my dad was like, no, hold on. He goes, Hank, and he just comes no hopping way. out, running over Did he get the tongue out, you know? The that is adorable. Kind of. <laughs> and they've got, they kind of have long tongues. I mean, they're goats, so it kind of slaps them in the face a little bit. As they it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> that I need is some adorable. footage for the podcast, actually. That could be like, there you go. just instead of having like Caleb on screen. Just a picture no, he's, of he's, he's, yeah. he's on He's on camera now. The star of the show is here. He's camera shy. Look at him yeah. with the nervous eyes. Oh, our, hey. our viewer Caleb still sucks. Says that uh, he commented on the fact that you and and Caleb match. Technically, we don't match. We're just wearing the same color. I am. Uh, <laughs> we match. Gunner, very creative. Anyway, I'm clear. I'm wearing the real Todd Father T-shirt. <laughs> Gunner. Todd Helton, first baseman, Colorado Rockies. Caleb is wearing the Athens, Do the local brew shop. shop. 
Yeah. Shout, hey, if Shout you're in Athens and you want to go brew some beer, find Eric at the Athens Do It Yourself Brew Shop. We brewed some beer with him. Which may be difficult. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a little difficult. Schedule ahead of time. He's off of 5032, I believe the second entrance, or the, or the second exit, or the first exit off of uh, 5032. Going east mm-hmm. from Athens. Yep. Real easy to find. Great beer. Great beer. Good guy. Good beard. Better stories. Yeah. yeah. Good stories. Speaking Good of stories, story. let's get into this week's topics. <laughs> Guys. Okay. Well, what's your topic? Comic Con <laughs> was this week. And, yes, it was. And lots of cool stuff happened. Dennis is doing something to Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> he is just Matthew's giggling. Matthew's enjoying this far too much. Dennis, <laughs> I was, dude, it was leave like some room for Jesus. Tickle, right? <laughs> tickling my feet. <laughs> Um, like anyway, and there were a lot of talk about superheroes at Comic Con. Obviously, I wonder why. But I wanted to ask you guys a question, and that question is: it, what? it relates. You're so rude. You're just. You think you're funny. You think you're just so cool over there with your big nose and your long hair. It's not that big. Big nose. Anyway. It's average size. (laughs) The long hair is fair. Superheroes. The term super implies that there's something super about these heroes, obviously. But when you think of a superhero, you think maybe superpowers. And so my question to you guys is, do you have to have superpowers in order to be considered, by definition, a superhero? 100% yes. No. That is Absolutely. not true. Absolutely not. It's Batman just, is, is a superhero. literally, Paul laid a trap, <laughs> and you fell <laughs> yeah, into you the trap. You literally so are the hard. only opposition. You're going to go first, then, because you're the oh, only absolutely. one that... absolutely. Right. So Batman is not a superhero. No. He's a hero. He's a damn hero, and, you know... Damn he's, it. Uh, he's a he's great a person. Hero. Absolutely, he... Uh, he fights crime, and but I would also con- or, um, argue that the Joker is not a supervillain. Neither of them. Neither of them have superpowers. How super many people powers. do you have to kill before you're a supervillain? It's not about the number of people you, you kill, but about the supernatural powers that you. I mean, possess. the Joker fell in acid and like completely turned to a different color and like. It's, it's, Those are burns. Is Daredevil a superhero? Um, he I'll inform you more about Daredevil. Well, he's blind. That's. His old power. So that's yeah. That's, that's well. That's just a power. That's not a superpower. <laughs> that's, no, but he has like he's like super like really heightened senses, and he can sort of like like sense. beyond due to the like blindness. natural human capability. No, just like due to the blindness. Yeah, I like, think I'd argue that. Ba- I mean, if that's your argument, Batman has reached basically like the pinnacle. Yeah, if not pushes the boundaries for what a human can do. He's actually more ripped than I am. But okay, but what's a superpower? <laughs> because you know you could say that what Batman is doing is super. It's special. Mm-hmm. It's beyond what a human could do. The average crime fighter. And no, he it's didn't fall emotion, though, in you know like some special. nuclear waste. None of that. But some would say that what he does is acting as if he has a superpower. I, so where do you draw the line? Yeah, I've always I heard that that Batman's power essentially is his uh, intelligence and his physicality, which like and I would he could kill a lion barehanded, Bruce Wayne, <laughs> oh, and Batman go. could kill Batman. <laughs> I mean, definitely. Um, that's well, because he's and physicality, that's, that's because mean, he's not a real what person. Am I, am I? Real people, you're ugly and kill bears. Not, you're stupid. You're, you're tacky, and I hate you. I'm just kidding. I don't hate you, Caleb. I hate you. No, but like. I I like where Ben's going. I think Batman performs super events, and he does things that people couldn't do. He has reached. He has experienced so much and reached and has such experience that it's completely different. Iron Man does something that no other person did did before. Granted, it's in a suit, but he built that suit. He was the only one to have. I haven't watched the Iron Man movie, so I don't know. He, there's apparently like an army of them now, or whatever the hell, and other oh, people well, are in it. But like those suits, I feel like or... take a special <laughs> type of person to operate, and that makes you a superhero. If you're the, if you're one of few people that can operate that thing, I'd just call that pretty super. I mean, but it's not like Batman's wearing hockey pads. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Spit up his water. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but but here, let me ask you this: If it's true that you have to have a superpower <laughs> to be a superhero, does that mean in the real world nobody can be a superhero? Yes. No, nobody yeah. in the real world is a superhero. What if a fireman yeah. runs yeah. into a burning building and just for some reason adrenaline rush lifts a car, flings it, 
to save a little baby. Well, he's you a can hero lift the car. I don't think they'll do any fling. But that I, the thing I might call that guy a superhero. If he could do that, then he basically would have powers. All right, he doesn't fling the car. But he does something he that normally, it. yeah, it's just... No, but, like, under enough adrenaline in the right person, you can, can definitely lift, lift a car. Yeah. <laughs> like, in life or death, fight or flight, like, when your body kicks in to, like, yeah, but you add its, like, most... That's car. why you can kill a lion. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I know this I is, could. This is exactly... You can't that. kill fucking lions. They That's can go not... No. So on this argument. They can totally <laughs> kill lions. This, this is just working out so well in my favor. Okay, I'm gonna say what counts as a superhero... Is basically what is generally called a superhero. Oh, There's actually, not like a hard line definition we can give. You know, Batman's a superhero because we consider him a superhero. Well, the chat is bringing up a great point. Here. Yes. Yeah. LeBron is a superhero. LeBron is not a superhero. If anything, he he's a supervillain. What? what? Kevin Durant. Oh, oh, shut oh, up. Yeah. He, Matthew just saw it because Steph Curry attended the same college as him for like three months before he three, failed out three and decided years to play before basketball. He got an offer from the NBA and played with the NBA. His grades were tanking anyways, that, I'm sure. I don't think. Go, go LeBron, LeBron, LeBron cannot LeBron kill a lion. Check out our other podcast to see if we think LeBron James can kill a lion. Spoiler alert, we do. He cannot. <laughs> no, we do believe oh, LeBron, you can say LeBron James. Immediately if, say. if you're listening, LeBron James, we would love to see you combat a lion. Uh, LeBron James, if you're listening, yes, we would because then <laughs> you would die. No, he would. Wow, win. are you? <laughs> hey, this could be considered a. That's don't don't be threatening. Relax <laughs> over here. We don't need hate speech here. Okay, LeBron James, if you're listening, I don't All want right. you to die. Please don't fight a lion. But if you could tell my friends that you couldn't fight a lion, that would be that would be lovely. That would, that would be just peachy. I'd, I'd like to go back to the superhero thing. Um, so if Batman and Iron Man, who essentially built themselves as heroes, don't count as superheroes, do other heroes who have like augmented themselves outside of the realm of like technology count as heroes? Because I think is cyborg isn't Bruce, a superhero? Wasn't Bruce Banner the Hulk? Didn't he do something to himself that resulted in him turning into the Hulk? I think he was I, exposed I to something. Here, though. Yeah, when you can you turn into the Hulk, that's a superpower. But well, I'm yeah. saying like he wasn't born with it. I, he's you don't have to need to with Peter. Spider-Man's a that's superhero. That's not one of the so, stipulations. So if, so what so if Batman used superpower? all of his resources to augment himself in some way... That was outside of what a normal human would just be. Well, okay. That'd what about a superhero at that what point? about like um, Superman? Where isn't he just normally Superman on his planet? But he came to Earth and he's oh, okay. Martian Manhunter is a better example then, because Martian Manhunter <laughs> is just some random dude. Does anybody else know who? He's an alien. Yes, yeah, everybody yes, knows DC. who Martian Manhunter is. Oh. Caleb, read well, a book. I guess I'm the outlaw. You okay. ignorant slut! <laughs> hey, wow. wow. <laughs> Hey, that goes back to the office shaming. obsession, which I don't know you if you guys talked about. Have, no, we didn't. Have if you much, don't have a... So there you go. Well, hey, whoa, 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 like whoa, 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 we're talking about Martian Man. We are still yeah. working on the heroes. Thing. He's a Martian <laughs> from another planet. On that planet, he's just a normal dude. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah he can, like, read minds. Powers. Oh, okay. Yeah, they all yeah. have what we would call superpowers. But there, it's just a normal dude. He comes here, and Super. now he has superpowers, and he's a superhero. What's up with that? That doesn't really make any sense. Why not? It's I mean, relative. he's technically a superhero here. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I, feel like I don't think you need the powers by any means. I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't. I think it's just a matter who, of convention. Who said that? I think if you do super th- have powers. Caleb did. No, I, I, Caleb, no, yeah. I, I had the same set of rules for villains. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Caleb, I was going to say, I don't think there's a lot of villains gosh, in dang. the comic books that have powers. I think they're usually trying to stop whatever the power that the hero has. Not always. Well, not always, but I'm just saying, like, there's not Lex a whole Luther. lot of villains. Yeah, like, Lex Luthor doesn't really have, like, a power, does he? He just tries to stop some He's no. really smart, right? Yeah. Awesome. And, like, does rich. that make me a supervillain, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Apparently in Batman vs. <laughs> Superman, he's, like, connected to... It's like nuts. Plants. No, he's connected to the main villain. What's his name? Or, Lex- like, Doomsday. No, Doomsday was one they made. Yeah. Dark Side. Oh. That's who it is, because yeah. that's where they're going with that. Just, we'll get to that in a second. So... <laughs> Everyone but Caleb agrees that... No. I think that it's too hard to define what a superpower is. Therefore, we throw out the entire argument. And how do we separate... So wait, so wait, there's no such thing as a superhero? We just say I'm saying that unless we can sit down here and define a superpower, then we cannot continue the argument. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's right. I kind of agree with him saying, I think we're splitting hairs. Paul, (laughs) define a superpower. 
Starting with you. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think Matthew, this is a productive not argument. Matthew, not, not now. We can do not now, We Matthew. can understand what things are without hardline definitions. That's just not a, a really reasonable standard, you know? I like the way you're going, I liked Matthew. When I liked Paul was on the spot and had to answer the question. <laughs> if you want my definition of a superpower, it's basically doing a something outside of... I would say the average human. Like, if you can perform... I would say some... It's some Hillary Clinton. Right how is it what? Hillary Clinton? You can't answer the question. No, I'm just... I just told you. <laughs> Be direct, Paul. If you If you have a superpower, you can do something that... A normal human couldn't do? Yeah, basically. So let, let me ask you this, then. And I think Batman can do things that a normal human so can't do. So if a cheetah runs faster than a human being, does he have a superpower now? Yeah, you saying Bolt? No, he's that's a, that's an animal. Just that's just that. different you, biology. Is you saying Bolt a superhero? He's the he's faster than any other human, so therefore he breaks. I don't human think anymore. Not anymore. Oh, my dad's probably again. Not. See, but that's what I mean. <laughs> no, see, that's what I mean. My dad's really if you, fast. If someone can that. reach, if someone can reach what you do, then it's so not you have really to be it. better at than literally every other person on the planet. But if you're the best. So You're, Ben and I are superheroes superhero. of faces. So I I am a superhero charisma. of knowing about American college names. What Name right there. Fifty of them. Name fifty of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pomona. Right, you have Stanford, two minutes. Let's go. Come on. Ohio go. University, Ohio State. Davidson, Harvard, uh, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical <laughs> University, uh, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Bologna, uh, Bologna, California Bologna, University Bologna, of Pennsylvania, Bologna, University Bologna, of Pennsylvania, Bologna, Pennsylvania, Bologna, Pennsylvania Bologna, State Bologna, University. Bologna, Bologna, Bologna. He wasn't done. That's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> Hoopla! Hoopla! All right, next up. <laughs> well, we didn't. We didn't really come to a conclusion. I don't think we're. Going so wait. To okay. Who's so Ben says throw the argument out. Caleb says you have to have superpowers to be a superhero. Trevor, Matthew, and myself say you. You don't. You can still be a superhero. Batman I, and Iron Man are superheroes. I feel like being a superhero is like doing something super, not something that's like outside of the realm of, like you have some mysterious gift. So like... Okay. I reason. feel like I being a superhero is just yeah. like, it's pretty much um, exactly just being known as a superhero. Like I don't think there's really a... Chat. Asked if Jesus is a superhero. a superhero, I would absolutely no. agree that Jesus. No, no, we no. don't consider Jesus a superhero, so he's not he, a superhero. He has superpowers. He, he might have been the first comic book. He character. was a god. He was a. That's not the same. <laughs> as oh, a oh, is Thor not? Wait, then? Thor. Thor's, okay, Thor, wait, about, Thor is a different kind of. He's like an alien <laughs> with special powers, basically. He's I, not I really don't want to get in this argument because I don't think Thor counts as like a comic book hero because they just stole him from Norse mythology. Like he's not a made up new character, he's just a past character from another time yeah. being reused as this, like, cultural comic book I mean, character. Oh, they hey. made a show called, like, Black Jesus. Yeah. That was, mm -hmm. The show was ridiculous. Gunny72 <laughs> says you don't have to have superpowers. Well, they oh, Caleb still sucks, says you can be a hero no, without superpowers, but you can't be a hero without superpowers. Okay, well that's just you rude to call us dumb. That no, see, I I don't know. Dumb. That no, that's just me. You're, You're mean, that's, sir. That's, that is just me. That's a circular argument. Or ma'am. <laughs> well, we're we're arguing about definitions, so I mean, I don't I don't really think that there's going to be I like a say, deeper meaning here. It's just convention. Yeah. Speaking of conventions, back to San, San Diego, Diego Comic Con. Comic -Con. Lots of trailers were released. <laughs> That segue was so good <laughs> into superhero movies from C Comic Con. Yeah, Caleb, stop looking at me like you just think <laughs> I'm crazy. Just fix your face. So did you guys see? Any fix it. You, you know, guys see? I heard that a lot. Actually, did my you, mom yells did, that. Did, did, you, so did you? Did you? Yeah. Cool beans. Did you guys see any of the new trailers? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Beans. Justice League yeah, looks yeah, dope. Yeah, Justice it looks League so looks much awesome. better. Oh, than dude, I just, just the one. Man. It's the one trailer I think I'm gonna watch for that movie. I don't want to watch yeah, anything else was, because I'm I'm excited. The Flash looks hilarious. Yeah, that Aquaman was, looks kind of like actually badass. Yeah, for Aquaman once. looks dope. Aquaman <laughs> is super badass. You what two, so, what, what are, are you laughing at? We're just, we looked at each other. We're like, <laughs> it's, I, we didn't watch the trailer. <laughs> oh, we had no idea. Oh, from my side, it was it's so hot. And you look really hot, dude. We are sitting in a room. It's 95 degrees outside. We got one fan. We have one fan. Hey, that is I'm a the fan. Couch. I'm a fan oh, of all of amazing. you. So we've got two fans. <laughs> Actually, we might have a couple viewers, so we might have more than two fans. 
even. I don't think I don't know if Game of Thrones is a topic. Yeah, I think so, seventy two. There, there, there are some other cool trailers. I mean, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones is pretty. There's uh, a new trailer for for Doctor Strange. I didn't see that I one yet, but I saw that. the first one, and that one yeah. is like the first there Marvel was, movie in a while that I'm like, I like really want to see that. There was a there's, bunch of new stuff for Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. See, oh, but yeah. I don't. I didn't want to watch. It's too close to the movie coming out. I got my fill of what I needed to see. Yeah. And I'm I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be good. I think Jared Leto's, Leto's Joker is going to be good. But no, we, we're gonna pleasure. we're gonna combine. Wow, they, oh, that is man. a long message. <laughs> I feel the com- like if somebody took the time to type that out, we should we should can, say can it, right? We, so can, Mirage. Can, <clears throat> okay, can, oh, you can read it. Sh- I'll read it. Okay, From I, Mirage underscore Leonardo eighty four. So there's a new RPG coming out called Dragon Quest Builders. It's like Minecraft but with Dragon Quest. Like you build traps and stuff to defeat bosses. The battle system is a real time like Kingdom Hearts. It actually looks pretty cool. Dark Cloud plus Minecraft plus Dragon Quest Nine equal Dragon Quest builders. I don't think Anyone any of us really play <laughs> much Dragon Quest. I know the title. Right. I know the game. I know it's an RPG, but I don't Just know. Just never getting a shout out. Again. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, man. <laughs> um, but. That's cool. That sounds exciting. I never got into Minecraft either. Did any of you guys played, play Minecraft? I played yeah, a lot of Minecraft. Minecraft. I ran a server yeah. for Minecraft. Well, so, okay, here's the thing about Minecraft, Me. though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but the thing about Minecraft is, like, you'll show up, and you'll, like, be hanging out. All your friends are hanging out. You're having a good time, and you, like, log off. You come back, and your friends have industrialized <laughs> Minecraft. Really one back. friend. Yeah, yes. Yeah, really it's one friend in specific. A couple. You'll show up and they're, they have like a strip mine. They've cut down and, all yeah. the trees. I want to cut you off and say your phone's ringing. Can I answer it? Who is it? 740-707-9706. I'll be right back, guys. But anyway, I'm oh. pretty sure I know exactly. Wait, what was he talking about? Just sit where he was sitting and talk about it. You said... Yeah, <laughs> so there's, there's, there's one guy who, that we played Minecraft with who would always just have... Um, <laughs> so you're hogging the Continue. Fish. He he would always just have these like super complex, very like efficiently worked out diamond mines. Oh, wait, seamless transition. Seamless transition. <laughs> seamless. No it's seams. All about filling in the frame, you know. Yeah. Paul's head does a good job of that, but I do got a big head. Anyway. Um, I was talking about Minecraft. I don't know if you guys continue. Yeah, to talk. I just I just kept saying what Can I. Can you put this in front of Paul's head right now? <laughs> you would say if you were here. All right, continue um, your story. So but. so yeah, uh, but no, you you show up, and they've industrialized everything, and it's kind of depressing. It's a little bit like what happened in America. And also, one of your friends oh, wow. is always fighting with everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Um, that's my take that's on Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft servers always have that one guy that gets on, harvests everything oh, within have such like a, a huge face. Uh, of the spawn point, and then just leaves, and never plays again, and no one has any resources. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's uh, that's Minecraft in a nutshell right there. Or they'll offer you really exploitative labor contracts. Yeah, <laughs> that actually happened. <laughs> wow. What are we oh, talking about? Super we have a resolution on your face through the stream right now. It looks beautiful. Oh, what? It's HD. Yeah, your face looks far better. The fake one, definitely. I bet you the giant zit looks great. Yeah, the giant zit just looks like a giant zit in the middle of your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it's very red. It matches the cheeks, the redness of the zit, really, the rosiness. I think this picture was taken, like, after football practice or something like that. I don't That's know. Pretty, are you sure you didn't play paintball kid in the forehead? <laughs> ha! With, with the red paint. Anyway, Matthew, what else did you want to talk about superhero trailers? Well, did you... Uh, do, have you guys been watching any of the Marvel Netflix series like Daredevil or Jessica? Jones? I watched. I watched a little bit of Daredevil. It was pretty awesome, but yeah. uh, I haven't caught up on it in a while. What? They had a so. new trailer for Iron Fist, which looks cool, and uh, <laughs> for the Defenders, which is like all of the Netflix heroes and and Luke Cage. So those all looked cool. If, if you if you guys had superpowers, what superpowers do you guys think you would have? How many superpowers do you get? The ability of flight. I really would like to fly. I'd really, basically, if I could have two abilities, See, I would like to fly, and I'd like to be able to, like, swim and breathe underwater, and, like, dive underwater, like, be, and, sick. like, see. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would like to have the, like, I don't need to have super strength or anything like that. What are you See? doing? <laughs> it's on the fridge. It's on the fridge. It's on the freezer door. Yeah. Um, but, no, I think those two, honestly, like, 
Because I wouldn't, I didn't, wouldn't want to read mines or anything like like super strength would be cool, but like you couldn't really use it because then you See, if you broke a bunch of stuff, everyone would be like, "What the hell, guys?" I think I think flight isn't really like a good one because uh, we have a lot of like contraptions that you could experience yeah, uh, flying. Yeah, but then I can just be like, "Oh, want to go fucking home?" Actually, Whoop. can I change flight to teleportation? Yeah, like instantaneous. Say, See, like, no, I want I want the experience, man. I want to teleport get a hang glider like a, <laughs> a millimeter at a you know very quickly at a time. And then it's like flying. Have you seen Jumper? No, I'd still want the experience. Like I could, like I would be fine in the air with whatever I was wearing. I would be able to be. The wind wouldn't bother me. You Your know, hat I mean? wouldn't fly off. No, yeah, I, it would just you literally would just take off the glasses. Like it on. I would have. I would. I Dude, feel like the glass. Yeah. If Paul had superpowers, would... he'd be like Hancock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, Paul have like a bottle of something and be <laughs> drunkenly flying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, that'd be bad, but I don't. I you can't drink and fly, man. Don't drink and fly. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, okay, have you if you're getting flight? on, pl- if you're getting on a plane, <laughs> it's Denzel good. Washington did not helps follow that rule in really? flight. Not at, at all. all. What? Not at all. Flight is that with Denzel Washington? Isn't that like the entire uh, doesn't he, premise? Isn't he, isn't he drunk the whole time? Doesn't he save the plane? Though? He saves the plane. See, no harm no foul. Got any something? Yeah, that's not the rule of that movie. Yeah, no harm no foul. He made. That's it. Gunny72 wants to know if any of us have watched any of the Nightwing show on YouTube. No. no I haven't. No. no. Nightwing is in, like, Robin. Yeah. We're, like, we're not the biggest. I don't think superheroes are the most popular thing in this house. I'm but a big superhero like fan. I like them, but I, I, would, I would say you probably outrank me. But I have a decent enough Yeah, video. I'm the biggest Batman fan. I, I couldn't tell I you, like, that. all... I, don't know. I debate that. I don't know if you, that's You just said true. we're not big superheroes, and then you're gonna argue... I mean, I'm a, big, I, I'm a big Batman. I just assumed, assumed everyone else. I think oh, I'm, no, yeah, I'm a Batman. big Batman. Math, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a Batman. Ben, what's shit. your uh, take on superheroes? They're good. <laughs> They're good, oh. yeah. Okay. You know, fight, fighting crime, that's <laughs> important. Um, I don't mean, I like, think, on a moral level. Well, my take is that they're kind of... Stealing the spotlight away from the police. Well, the police. Well, that's not why they always. The say police no. can't okay. do anything when a hey, guy hey, is shooting laser hey, beams out of his eyes. At hold you. on. Okay, let's say you know Spider-Man flies into a burning building. You're doing this fly. one again. Flings a car. He can't. Picks he up can't a baby. Fly. That's exactly what a fireman can do. Right, but he does it faster, and also it only takes one fireman. Or one Spider-Man, and it's cheaper, and also the That's fireman why I'm can saying do other <laughs> things. The fireman can focus on putting out the yeah, fire while Spider-Man you're saves making, the people. You're making the lump labor fallacy, okay? Just because Spider-Man's saving some people doesn't mean that the firemen are just sitting on their asses. They're going and saving other people that otherwise they might not the have what? been saving. The lump labor fallacy? Yeah, it's like nice. there's a there's just a lump of labor to be done. So when immigrants come, they they steal our jobs. But no, it just well, it just I've, lets us do other things. I've never seen Spider-Man put out fire. Yeah, exactly. Wait, that's a good point. Is is Web Spider- is Spider Man an immigrant? No, but he's an immigrant to the heroism business. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dennis, sir, come join us. This is return, sir. Come join the circle. It's probably okay. too cold in the rest of the house. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he, he <laughs> really wants to get away from that. Let's uh, so, let's stray away from so superhero superheroes world. and world. superhero conventions, so and let's go convention. over. I want to hear what Trevor is bringing to the table for his topic. Alrighty, well, um, I've been thinking about that it. That was topic one and two, by the way, for well, future reference. We just... The movie trailers and various other random junk that would follow. Right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. topic three. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, as you know, and I uh, was just kind of thinking about the other day, like, apocalyptic things, and like, we got this crazy political thing going on right now, and I just like, what would happen if the world kind of fell into like, doesn't have to be a nuclear fallout, just like... Can we do zombies? Can we do thing. zombies specifically we at can all? talk zombies, I mean... Okay, because I have a good... I have a well thought out... medical world, so like, who knows? I have a well thought out <laughs> zombie apocalypse let's, plan. Let's hear it. We'll, we'll see me, about that. Let me, wait, wait, let like me, uh... We'll pick let me interact holes. with chat real fast. Gunny72, do you like Von Miller's new contract? Yes, oh. I do. Von Miller is the shit. <laughs> great, great sign. Broncos defense just got a big piece that it made back. The Rockies needed a new pitcher, so... The Rockies actually just swept the Braves. Four games. Anyway. Is this basketball? Ba- that football. was baseball and football. We're talking rugby right now. Nice. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this. If I if I could get to an oil an oil platform. <laughs> Did you just turn off the fan? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Everything just stopped. <laughs> Continue. Right. 
if I'm thinking this, if I can get in a in a flying vehicle that I can load up with supplies, not too big, not out of the ordinary, small plane, helicopter maybe, and get to an oil platform or an aircraft helicopter? carrier. I can't. But if I'm this is my perfect scenario. I have someone that okay. can get me there. This is what I would say the best. I'll learn. What? I'll learn how to yeah. fly a helicopter. We'll figure it out. You can hit some buttons. I've played enough video games. Yeah, it's true. On the fly Control. sort of thing, literally. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> learning on the fly. Hey, um, I, I need to get a little thing that pops up when we get hit with a pun. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> anyway, you, we go to an oil platform or an aircraft carrier, and then you know if people are infected on that, you clear them out. But then you just start chilling. You got oil there, so you got to have heat and electricity on the platform because they obviously soup that stuff and up. Fish for and food. they're out on the, you know, so they have their own stuff. So that obviously you can self maintain it there. And if you have the flying machine, you know, plane or Are you talking helicopter. About a, a helicopter? <laughs> well, it could be a helicopter or a plane. I'm, that's okay. what I'm saying. You, depending hang on. Hang glider. Or like a really They're not going to be able to hang glide to a freaking <laughs> oil rig. A big kite. <laughs> a flying yeah. squirrel suit. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do either of those to go to the. The right. oil rig. Those big birds so, from Lord of the Rings. That they should have flown all the way oh, in right. The Hobbit. That's an argument you don't want to get into. <laughs> big plot, in, you yeah. know. Anyway. I don't uh, No, me. in all seriousness, the only problem I see with And then you just plan, chill out there. Like, that all works ex- until I feel like you'd run out of water, and then you have a bunch of you're salt water You're next to the entire you. ocean. Yeah, then you, you, like you a purify the water. There's You live uh, on an oil rig. they got to have it, a way of purifying water Is it that easy there. to purify salt water, though? Can you make Can it you into boil it? Drinkable water? Right? If you just boil water, doesn't that make it drinkable? You Reverse need a, osmosis. You, you need a, a filter. You can distill it, so if you, you get steam, you turn it to steam, and then you Science. can get it on the top of something. Yeah, and then the stage it. notes of Yeah, but, <laughs> Paul, I think there's a big problem with your <laughs> entire plan. I don't know what that means. What happens if you get lonely? It's a fucking apocalypse, Ben. I don't really think that's... <laughs> That, that's why you get those body dolls. You'd sing those, sad like, songs pillows. from like Elvis. <laughs> you, fly, you fly back to civilization because you got to go get food and stuff to resupply. So you go back. You know, if you find survivors, bring them to the pad. Soup it up. Then you guys get an operation going from an offshore thing. I, because if the zombies are following you, even if they walk on uh, underwater and they can just go, they're walking and then they're going to walk into the bottom of the ocean and die. I also have Fawn. a major problem with the whole idea of zombies. I don't want to be that guy in this conversation. You're, be you're, being, you're being that guy. You're, I will. All right, then I want to be that guy <laughs> in this conversation then. Okay. You know, like the whole zombies walking underwater thing, like, it just makes no sense. See, yeah. See it. I don't like the idea of zombies being, like, undead or that they're reanimated, but I like, um, if you've ever seen 28 Days Later... Yes, I was mm-hmm. gonna say, make they, that same... They're, like, realistic. living people, but they, like, are seeing red and are just raging and they can't control yes. themselves. That I, makes I sense really to like, that like a zombie. I don't like the zombies that, like, get an arrow through their brain and, like, their head's blown off and they're still walking around. Yeah, it's like... They're just a corpse just kind of coming at yeah, you. Yeah, like, <laughs> biology major, back me up on that. Not possible. He froze I'm on not. The I'm not ready to. I'm not prepared to answer that. Um, Throw the science so, at us. Give us the science. No, well, ben, so actually, the science. The, the, nanobots, man. That's how the zombies can come. No, nanobots. it probably would. Science. You would need something. Hemoglobin. Something would have to control oh. your nervous system. Yep. Exactly. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. I mean, it's an electronic response from your brain. Yeah. Correct. Pro- it probably would. Yes. Yeah. As a like digital, said. but you know, actually, there there is a there is like a zombie uh, type uh, fungus which actually will control ants. Oh yeah, um, I've seen that actually. I've heard I, of that. I forget what it does, but it causes an ant, I think, to go up a leaf. Well, it takes kind of control um, of it, and that happens with a lot of parasites, right? Where they'll just sort of Contr- take uh, over, manipulate like behavior. Or I'm, I'm being asked by Andrew Kramer. Um, to call Matthew out for suggesting body dolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we sort of glazed over that. I went what, and then we just kept talking. <laughs> what are body? What I missed that. It was I when you were talking well. about Paul getting lonely on the. Uh, <laughs> oh, and then he said, "Just have a body doll," and we all just kept talking. <laughs> I did not hear that. If I would have heard that, I would have made a bigger deal. Yeah, right, thank so, you, Andrew. Yeah, so thanks. next topic: body dolls. Matthew, it's all you. <laughs> it's like dolls that look like people, basically. What size You're, is right? Do you have any you? experience? Like, you know, how does it, like, Ben size? Or a dentist size? What? <laughs> <laughs> what size is right for me? Yeah, well, like, what body doll do you use? <laughs> I don't get I'm it. Just lonely. Lonely. <laughs> I don't use a body doll. Matthew. I t- I'm just lonely. I'm just alone. He's not on an oil rig. <laughs> 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 
I continue on with the zombie oh, conversation. Okay. So what, was happening. what would you do? In the zombie apocalypse? Yeah. I would immediately try to find some kind of weapon that doesn't make a lot of noise if that's... Baseball like, bat's the best weapon for zombies. Yep, probably. Something blunt because, like, if you get something sharp... Metal. <laughs> metal. Definitely metal. Metal, but they dent, so both... Have two on your back, yeah. like... I mean, I have, like, because that's not ir- irrational to... If you go to a... Per- like, me, you'd f- if you were, like, to break into my garage to scavenge Bunch for the supplies, bats. you'd find, <laughs> like, eight baseball bats of wooden and metal. And I would I would want a blunt object just for the reason that a sharp object gets dull and then would get stuck in miscellaneous Here, bones. Here's a fun fact. If you want to go into Caleb's room, you can actually find eight normal bats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not baseball, <laughs> just bats. <laughs> Okay. You can definitely find quite yes, a few bats that's through the, the whole map. It is. It's the sonar. Yeah, don't get rabies. Right, so, yeah. so what about an apocalyptic event that doesn't involve zombies that would, like, actually be possible? Like, just government collapsing, like, world collapsing, people ransacking know, shit, like... How possible do you think isn't, that Isn't that be? kind of funny, though, that, like, we all have a plan for a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> but, like, if our government funny, shuts down, we're like, I don't, know, what, I don't know what to do. I, <laughs> well, I don't think any that. of us can even, like, vaguely predict what that would look like. I yeah. think it's because, like, if the government shut down, like, you'd try as hard as you possibly could to maintain normal life, but, like, in the, in the like, you know, event of a zombie apocalypse, like, there's no keeping you normal Dude, life I would go life. straight, like, Mad Max Fury Road. Okay, All but I way. feel like I feel like other people would be like, you know, we sell power companies. <laughs> you're like going down normal roads, like they're not in good shape anymore, but they're working on establishing a new government. And you're just like in the <laughs> you're 70s roads. Yeah, I got like the guitar, you know. <laughs> bro- <laughs> <laughs> Fire. It's like, hey man, you're really doing damage to the roads, and we're really struggling to get the money together. So if you could not do that, that would be great. It would be great, man. Yeah. It's like, you should, um, dude, I don't know. I would just like, I guess. Yeah, I would try to remain normal, but ride it out. I would assume that we would get at home. some sort of law together pretty quickly. Um, well, I got kind of pretty civilized zombies. people. They're no, no, loud, yeah. no, in the government. If the government shut down, like we'd get a pretty like a different system of oh uh, yeah laws probably. set up pretty quickly. No, I started thinking about this the other day too because I got kind of a glimpse of like what would happen if society just kind of fall, fell apart. Because I read an article about um. Uh, there's a city over in Japan, like in the exclusion zone, and they, uh, this... Exclusion this, zone? Yeah, where the, um, the power plant, the nuclear power plant, like, exploded, yep, it caused okay. all this radiation, so now it's an exclusion zone no one's allowed to go into, but there's still people just living in there that, like, never left, and, uh, this journalist went in with, like, a radiation suit and just kind of checked out the town, and it was like, he'd go into a grocery store and there's still... You know, just food all around the grocery store. Some of it's dumped over because people have just gone in and taken whatever they want. He went into, like, a bookstore, and there was, like, a whole section of books that had just been taken, and, like, people took them off to their homes and that sort of thing. He found a dude that walked and just watered plants every day, and, like, he's probably nice. super irradiated, you know, but it's he's just, like, living there. Yeah, I mean, you I know, just, as, long, eerie, you know, as long as you can get, like, a decent set of rules to live by, you know, you can work out your little community pretty well. Yeah, that's cool. that's kind of spooky though. Yeah, it was that's eerie. really cool. The, the pictures and stuff were just eerie because it was yeah. like it looked like life just froze. Well, well dude, I bet stopped. you they just don't have they don't have what? access to How shit. How long has it been there? I think it was twenty twelve, twenty eleven, twenty eleven. Yeah, so five years. Yeah. Um, which have you, you guys the heard about? Journalists pointed out that like a lot of the newspapers and stuff had the date of that day that everyone abandoned the town and it's just frozen in time essentially. Have you guys have ever heard of those like? Um, cities or uh, there's some building I think somewhere in Japan maybe that like everybody like everybody is abandoned like the government doesn't care about it but there's just this big community of people living in there basically yeah. where I think it's in Japan I'm not yeah sure. it'd be like it's like a big apartment complex that people have just made like a whole network of like a community within it uh, what do we got going on in the chat either 125 outlanders or it could be 12 Southlanders with just oh, that is true. interesting spelling. So Sound. Said, if Trump takes over the country, it might be the end. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Man, I don't, even, I don't even want to talk about Trump. Dude. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't yeah, even want to. Yeah. Let's, let's not do I, politics. All, all I'd like to say is Go that... Go Libertarian. Go for the third party guy. Yes. Gary Johnson. Definitely. Yeah. Tim. If you don't like Trump and you don't like Hillary, vote for the other guy. Don't not vote. Uh, or, or do not vote. It's up to you. No, yeah, we're both not voters. Trump the yeah. Trump going I after the Bernie Johnson, Sanders supporters. You might as well use your vote to 
do it so we could for the the possible well, third the party possible party. third party. I don't That's, I don't really want to get into this yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, outlanders keep politics out of our goofy I, podcast. I do have I have a fun topic though. Yep. If you want to I was gonna say a time check right forty five minutes. So um <laughs> actually uh last <laughs> Keeping Way to you, deflect it, Ben. Keeping you ben, on your toes, I've been ben. training you for uh, through that moment especially, and you failed. Yeah. Well, right, this is like hot rod. I want to hear Ben's topic, guys. Yeah, let's hear Ben. Okay. What's your topic? So I was at a uh, a Columbus Crew game uh, actually Jesus last. What man? Really fucking go. <laughs> what was that? You know, go ahead. I really want to hear what you have to contribute, Ben. So I was at a Columbus Crew Jesus. game, uh, and it was actually a playoff uh, game. Already? How does like crew like? <laughs> I think they're a construction crew. I think that's their logo. Ben, just continue on. on. Continue on, Ben. Okay. Do you anyway, have any props for this one? No, I was just gonna. I just wanted to talk about how unpleasant it is to actually go to a sporting event. You're so first wrong. of all. First wait, of all, wait, wait, wait. any sporting event any or sporting a crew event. game? Because going to a crew game is like watching grass grow. Well, okay. <laughs> besides that, though, just in general, just in general. Going to a sporting event. First of all, people are standing up and sitting down. It's like church. You don't know <laughs> when, you know, especially when it's a sport you're not like super familiar with. And so every and so like I'm kind of a short guy. And so as soon as anything interesting happens, everybody stands up and I can't see anything. I'm sorry. So first of all, that upsets me. But oh. the second thing that really bothers me is the high fives. Because Gunny agrees. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's not what I'm bothered about. What Johnny I'm bothered about agree. is that... Good God. <laughs> and that is how you do it. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> He'll lie about himself. <laughs> well, look. Look it. When somebody high-fives somebody else, it's a form of congratulations. So, for instance, I come home and I'm like, I got that job. High fives, right? That was solid. a good series of high fives. That was solid. But or a hug. Or a hug, right? But here's what happens. What about a butt slap? Somebody who I literally <laughs> am watching from a hundred meters away kicks a ball. The ball goes into a goal, and suddenly I turn to my friend and I high five him. What was that? That's a congratulations <laughs> That's enough. Enough about how good your team just <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, it's as if you're taking credit it is for not his as if goal. That's it's what's like happening. saying I it's so great that I'm a fan. <laughs> You know, I'm a fan of I this, think, I this think team. what you're doing here is you're taking that use of high fives out and then complaining like as a possible use and then complaining that they're not high fiving in a way that you approve it's of. I think I think you're just being a literal giant stick in the mud. Yeah. I've literally seen you be the guy like in an intense part of the game, like when everyone should be standing up at a sporting event. You're just like making a point can, of can sitting someone down. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. I can't see <laughs> any this, this game. Or or this I can't see <laughs> anything. Can you sit down, just like, little gentleman? I got my my seltzer! You got making me spill my seltzer with your high fives! And, and he's wow. wearing his socks and sandals and yeah. drinking his seltzer water. But okay. Not but, liking high fives at the sporting <laughs> event is literally one of the most outlandish things I've ever heard in my no, entire no. life. Um, okay, it literally got to the point where the ball would go out of bounds. It would be a change of possession. High fives! Yes. Let's go! Okay. Some people Woo! are ridiculous. That's stupid. That's, that's because they're just doing it all so, the time, not because it's inherently inappropriate to high five for a celebration. Yeah. yeah. You, you're you showing you your appreciation and love for the team. Do you just hate friendship? You feel like I was not a part of the Denver Broncos, but I still say we won the Super Bowl. Why? You also threw up all over my yard. You're damn right I did. <laughs> I projectile hey. vomited all over your yard, and it was fantastic. That was a great night. Anyway, um, why do you hate? No, French going show? to professional sports games does not suck. Hockey games are hockey games are super awesome. fun. And okay, this, I don't know about you guys. I mean, this is for me just because I'm biased. I could sit at a baseball game almost twice uh, a week all summer is long. The worst sport. Yes, to watch, I could though. sit there, and so I understand boring. why people don't like to watch it. <laughs> But I would, I could sit there and I could go to a baseball. I could go I feel to course like field or anything. Like when you don't actually want to be there, but you got some stuff to do and you need. It's like going to the library. No, I oh, think baseball like is a little less. Be I love it, dude. Nothing like getting a dog and a beer and, a, and just baseball chilling. is the best to go to. Uh, I think it's a good experience. And they have a lot of engagement. I mean, so you can just summertime. It's nice. You're chilling out. It you know, cools like you can bring a friend and chat and like the conversation stops. It's not awkward. It's like if you go to a football game, everybody's so into it. And I just uh, yeah, I'm not at that point, you mm -hmm. know, to the point where people get upset and get in fights. 
I over like some games. games. I'd like to go to big football I games, do. but I'm not going to lie. I don't mind that I've only been to three Broncos games in my life. I mean, it's hard to get tickets to the NFL games, most of them. But um, realistically... <laughs> You know, if yeah, I, I would rather watch football said games. There was too much high five happening. <laughs> oh no. yeah! All right, yeah. More high fives. <laughs> Wait, did it, hold on. Put your hand in the middle. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah! yeah! Wow, that, that was, was good. Uh, I thought you wanted better. What a weak high five! <laughs> nice. Weak. Boo, Ben. You're but, ben, I literally would hate to probably sit in. You'd probably be on your phone half the time <laughs> catching Pokemon. Or just like You'd ask questions about what happened. Actually, it's like okay, texting so, somebody, like, this game sucks. No, oh, actually, I'm, the, I'm still at the clue cl- I, I, I game. I literally, oh. yeah, when I was there, I was like texting my friends, what yeah, are you doing right now? Play, play <laughs> Boom! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nailed it, That's dude. And like, Nailed I would it. like, you know, OU football games are a little different because we're not a big time yeah. school. But like, as Gunny oh, says, OU oh, games are still fun. Yeah, though. they're fun, but they're way too long. Never for, been to you one know what are awesome? Yeah. We're taking Davidson one, basketball games. Just because Steph Curry was there, you know, he's not even no, there. No, not when Steph Curry was there. I have not been there for that. It's actually really. You've cool. been to an OU. Basketball? It is cool. No, uh, no. Probably. College sports it's games cool. are cool, but like I wish I mean I'd rather like if I could if I went to Kansas I'd be at like every home basketball game. Is this Donald Trump? Is one twenty five Southland is is that Donald Trump? He's like, ah, people high fiving so much. Sad. Just you know, I don't know. I agree. Is. Actually no, I I, I I like this, Outlander. No you no. just well, too many well, high fives. I think, the South, I think there's Pence. multiple people. They're the don't South. Take the volume away from I think they're the Southlanders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? No, but there's no missing an H. I think there are 125 you, Outlanders. Could you? Uh, <laughs> it's 125 Outlanders. Could that you type Outlanders. out how to pronounce your name? Also, Gunny72. That is really rude. No one. Is, I don't think anyone is the new Star Trek movie out. Okay, so yeah, actually, uh, it is really if interesting. I guess I think 125 Outlanders might be Mr. Andrew Kramer. Is probably is that? So, well, can you tell us how to pronounce your name, Mr. From Landers? the from the Colorado there. From Colorful Colorado, if it is you, Andrew, congrats on making it there. I'm glad to see that you and Jack made it safely. Good luck. If you guys need insurance in the Colorado Springs area, hit up Andrew and Jack. They'll probably do some analytics or whatever they did. They've explained it to, to me a they couple times. Pro- they do, like, high IT stuff for progress. Yeah, but that's still their company. Cool. Okay, yeah. Get us a sponsor. Keep up the good work, guys. Anyway... What were we talking about? I don't about? think Adidas Did, would like well, sponsor. we started sports. Oh, oh, sports games. You're so wrong. Playoff atmosphere is also insane. When the Rockies won and went to the World Series in 2007, I'll never forget that. That was crazy. That was a whole stadium full of people just freaking out. It was awesome. A Davidson basketball game is oh, just man. like that, but better. I don't think so. I, it's not, I have a no. legitimate question. Are you like Benjamin Button? Because you're like you're an so old dude. You're like an old dude trapped in a young man. People have called me that. Yes, <laughs> with your seltzer yeah. water and hating on school. Ben drinks seltzer water at room temperature with no flavoring on it. That's how he likes. I think I think Ben water. just ages extra fast because he hasn't always been super old. It's there- just like. You know, he he went so, through his like angsty teen phase when he was like ten or something. <laughs> I'm so, just gonna get stuck at that super old like yeah. where am I he, for like he's, fifty years? And then you're gonna be Yoda, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah, you'll be a great Yoda. It's like an sure. old man with like a lot of just wise teachings to hand down to the new generation. But first you'll be kind of kooky lawn. and no one yeah. will understand what yeah. your mom is in the movie. <laughs> And, like none it's of you like, from the like science thoughts fiction will string movie. together in a good like manner, oh, and, and somehow I'm gonna inspire the we creation of Jar Jar Binks. Uh, Wait, you, please, please. Is Outlander that movie? That's why. Oh no, Highlander. I don't. I don't want to talk Highlander about that. Highlander, where only one can survive. That's that's. Uh, Does anyone else smell something really bad? By yeah, the way? No, I mean I think, we're all sweating like pigs. <laughs> I might no, also it smells be like the beer. compost bucket. Yeah. I do smell combos. I think it's literally just fear. the fan blowing over your body and blowing <laughs> your stench throughout this room. The stench of fear. Bop me. I'm just with the same thing. Anyway. Here, ben, you're, you just... you're, I don't think wait, so Caleb, how do you feel about sporting events? Um, it depends. I really, really like going to Red Wings. Hockey games Dude, are really fun. Hockey, hockey games, games, yeah, hockey blast. games. No, it's nice and cool inside. That's one of the best parts. Is like his hot, mm. like sports games can get really hot, like or like just horrifically cold. But they're like hockey games are well, almost. You, well, you come prepared for a hockey game because you know it's going to be cold. Yeah. So you you, you know you bring gloves. You get ready for it. Um, 
You also see another part of you being an old man is coming out. I would never bring gloves to a hockey game. <laughs> are you crazy? Are you serious? Do you, you wear gloves at the rink? Wait, what if you? Do you bring punch? a scarf too? No. Hey, what if you have to punch the nah. glass? True. Don't and bring you... gloves to a hockey game. Come on, it's what not that do? cold in there. It's okay. It's already winter, so on your walk there, you need some gloves. Hey. You already have gloves. You walk in, and your hands are so warm. Your hands are too warm. I need that? to get those gloves that have the little the pads so that I can text with the gloves Jesus on. Jesus Christ. God, you so you don't want the ones with like the, uh, the fingers cut out on the ends? How are you, okay, so how you are you an old man and a 17-year-old girl at the same time? <laughs> I feel like that's like a dad thing. The texty gloves. I, that, because I'm my, not going to add a pair of those. Those are conven- convenient. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah nice. but they're so ridiculous looking. They don't they style them. Well. You don't even really know. Maybe your dad is just really just, different It was all black mine. and they had like a little black. Like, I think he just sent incomprehensible texts through the through the normal my, gloves. My dad sends me texts as if they're emails. He'll, he will send, you know, he'll oh, have man. this subject. So it'll be like, dear Ben, <laughs> and enter, <laughs> subject, and then it'll be dad. Yeah, my dad brutal. does the other way where he doesn't proofread at all. So it's just like... <laughs> Riddled with typos and be like, what? What are you trying to say to me, Father? I <laughs> wait. Are you talking about your actual words? No, message? his text message. That's your text from. Yeah, my dad? dad sends me emails. Yeah. Oh. Shit. And then and then my mom is on the complete opposite end. She'll send me like emojis and like. Jeez. Oh my god, I miss you so my, much. When my mom emoji, discovered emoji. emojis, I wanted to like break my phone. I told her <laughs> the, literally the first text. I'm like, Mom, I'm concerned you're using emojis. Yeah. So like, right here, stop. I just I just see a text from my father where there's a wrong facing parenthesis and a dollar sign instead of the other parenthesis. Done. <laughs> Parenthesis, she says <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he meant. I guess. <laughs> See, my mom's one of those people that she uses all the acronyms, but like in all capitals. Like she doesn't use them as like slang. Like she'll send me a big L O L and a big O M G, and I'm like, Mom, stop. <laughs> I, 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 looked, I looked through a really nice list of, nice? of helpful uh, abbreviations that teens use a lot. These were really new to me. Do, you, do any of you guys know N-I-F-O-C? Well, I do now because you sent me a Snapchat. <laughs> that is naked in front of computer. What? Is that a thing? <laughs> kind of like AFK, but you know. There's also M-O-S. Except you're naked. With, yeah. yeah. And, and not the away from the computer. <laughs> yeah. 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 So there were a lot of these that I think you guys should know. There's like M-O-S, which is mom over shoulder. Like, I didn't know any of these. That's kind of clever. Yeah, it was super was super like helpful. Younger, maybe. Uh, I also I also learned about some code for uh, meth, which is Tina. Use the word Tina and means bumper meth. To bumper. <laughs> I, I like, would love I like to, when they say bumper to bumper. I'd like to share some of the content, some of the feedback that we've been getting in live time from uh, one of the group chats of a uh, a friend group of ours here. Um, Andrew, just, we thought you had a creative name and thought you and Jack were talking about different cultures. That's why we thought you were Outlanders. Outlanders, we're sorry that you were wrong. Kirsten, Caleb and I don't look at each other like we like to kiss, and but Caleb does leave <laughs> his do mouth that. open all the time. They do. None of our viewers are probably understanding what's happening, but essentially a drinking I... game is being made for Chat Pack. Anybody watching, oh. um, they, they've they been throwing a little bit of rules at us in a sarcastic shade. manner. Yeah, some shade. They're throwing what, shade, but we're going to... We're going to rule... We'll read, read it off. off. Yeah, I'll read off so some So can of we get them. some we alcohol? Or? Definitely put no, no, this up. is for the viewers. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> well, I, I know, but... Do you channel. guys want to kill some people with alcohol poisoning? <laughs> no. No, that's not what I'm trying purpose. to do. Well, let, let me Let me give off a couple of the rules here. For, one, um, one, like, I believe the first one was, uh, drink anytime or take a shot anytime Caleb leaves his dumbass mouth hanging <laughs> Um, I mean, that, you can't really argue with that I, one. I'm not arguing at all. That one my, should be one. My mouth hangs open a lot. Um, I'm about to do about it all I got loose. School. I got loose hinges right loose here. Loose jowls. Yeah, loose hinges. Like a snake. Um, two, uh, take a drink anytime Ben behaves like an old person. Chug, actually. Chug, chug. actually. Well, chug well chugging is a lot. Gonna like, pace yourself. Them. Make sure you keep track of all the drinks yeah, you have. Yeah, drink plenty of night. water. Ben drinking is one, defined by one five beer drinks an hour. in one setting. I believe. Really? Over five drinks. So I, that's I, I, like, actually, I heard it was three. Time. Over three? Have they changed it? <laughs> it's what alcohol at EDU from Ohio University. Wait, wait. Um, drink, another alcohol at EDU told me that about half a drink binge. is a pleasure zone, and past that, you're basically blacked I out. Think, I think you should have to take a drink any time um, Matthew makes a pun. Or yeah. a joke. Sounds like or a joke. joke. Yeah. So anytime Matthew talks. Because <laughs> he's a joke. Ew. Oh, wow. Just kidding, Matthew. You know I love you. 
I wonder how the uh, the audio. Is doing. I like how you're literally just taking the. Fi- <laughs> you took the fan from me to hold it just we're, on we're, you. We're training. Because, <laughs> yeah, you're training it back and forth from me holding it for everybody <laughs> to you putting the fan directly on yourself. Anyway, all right, all right. and then the last one rule from our from Shannon. I don't know. That was rude. She was rude. She was rude because I actually like said Kirsten said the rule. Apparently, every time Caleb and I look like we're gonna kiss each other. But te- Caleb and I are just passionate best friends, you know. I think and I think if anybody looks like it's gonna kiss, I it's think, me oh, and Fix the hands there. I think high five. Hello! Oh, high five should be included in the drinking game. Okay, they probably would die. Yeah, because they want. Caleb and I, Caleb and I are <laughs> dynamite high fivers. We we rarely so you can get a close up on the redness of my hand to prove that we're dynamite high fivers. You could you could go over to the camera and play. yeah, go up in there. Get up in there. Okay. Yeah, there you go. For those of you listening in, imagine a red of, hand. Go out of focus, but look at that. It's really it's, ugly it's nice fingers. and dark and nothing came up. But see, see the blood blisters. That's from high fives. Yeah, that's right. not uh, climbing. Is that your so, so do we have a we have a topic? Or? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about something at some point, but we were talking about the drinking, the chat back drinking. I guess Which, that. that's not a story. I, I think, think this topic was this topic started with Ben's. Oh, sports. sports. You know, actually, this podcast is so, slowly becoming a high five fest, which was exactly what I was trying to sort of. Avoid. Did you think that that, that wasn't going to happen, but with Caleb and I in this room? No, I guess not. That's yeah, um, but maybe no, we you could, you know. You brought us so, uh, great destruction. Speaking of the podcast, we're at an hour. Just so you guys know, I don't know if we have anything else we want to talk about. Did you have a topic? It was the trailers. Just that? Did you? You didn't have something trailers. else? Well, I'm still curious what the difference between a desk and a table is. It is a oh. very, very good question. I think that it's the application right of we the piece of furniture. <laughs> Well, so, okay, but here, imagine this, though. I'd like to hear from viewers on this as well. I There's a desk imagine, and table, viewers. Well, hang on. Imagine you go Comment up to your, your, your dining page. room table, okay, and you start eating at it, and, you know, I say, oh, you know, I need to write that down, because we're talking about something, and there's a drawer, and I open up the drawer on the dining room table and pull out a piece of paper. Is it not now a desk? I think if, I think if a, a table has drawers, it's a desk. But does I a desk think, have to have drawers? To I don't be a know desk? very many tables that have drawers that I wouldn't consider a desk. I, I, okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I'd, see a table like so, setting and then a three drawer system that so I think is a common. drawer may be sufficient to be a desk, but is it necessary? Can yeah. you be a desk without I, drawers? No, I don't. Th- I think a desk needs to be more than. I think that's the distinction. A desk needs to have multiple I, components well, I, to it. I, I, can, no, I, I think that you could turn this cool. into a desk. I don't think so. I think that's a table. I think if it's a desk or a table, it depends on where it's sitting. And I'd also like to say that my desk upstairs doesn't have any drawers. Then it's a table. I'd say it is not technically a desk. You just have an elongated table. Using it as a desk. But you use it for much more than a desk. (laughs) Hold on, hold on. You have so much stuff up there. Hold on. It's 60% my computer. What if he has that desk, but under it a small cabinet... With drawers, attached. I think that's a ta- wait, attached. No, no, not attached. Just below. It. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's, that's not relevant. Right. Those are yeah. drawers. So it's a Don't table this shit in with this. drawers and drawers. Yeah. All right. To me, but but that is a workspace. Yeah, but a workspace doesn't need to have a desk. It could just have a table. I think you're going to advertise something as a desk. It needs to have that three or a couple drawers, a little keyboard slot thing, well, I don't a think hole drilled in the key- back for cords. I think oh. you need to have those oh, little that's amenities. That's very extensive. What? Mine has a hole in it that I put my cords That's in. a doorknob hole. <laughs> I, I, I mean, also, I don't we're not think talking about where the materials came things. from. <laughs> I don't know. After hearing all this, I feel like the difference between a desk and a table is the label you put and I think that's just a lesson that we shouldn't label our furniture. But I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't so say you could ever exactly turn that into a desk. I wouldn't say you could turn that again? table into a desk. No. How would you I mean, turn that table into a desk? If you like I would, kneeled at it Japanese style, and I would, if I brought a bunch of papers and started using it for, then you would just be doing your work at desk. the family room table. Desk. No. Desk. 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 I feel like a desk with you. Desk. 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 That, that happens sound like at sporting games word. too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, okay. you're changing your team. They start God. Everybody drink like for Ben. Person, drink. All right, so <laughs> stay in the mud. They they chant the word desk. Well, watch out for the mic. Like, yeah. Yeah, you should take that because the sound. All right. Because because this. I think I think it's getting to the point where we might need to be wrapping this up because yeah, it's so freaking hot. Minutes, and I'm melting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it I'm is melting. hot. Hey, Paul, spin us an outro. Chat Pack Live viewers, this has been fun. I'd say this is our best podcast we've done. This was they a blast. just keep getting better. Yeah. Follow us every day 
at Chat Pack Live on Twitter and YouTube, where topic by topic, this will be broken down and sent out each day from our main man, Trevor Computer Jizz. Oh, I said Jizz. <laughs> I meant to say Wiz. Computer Wiz, red haired. T-shirt making. I think I've avoided seeing jizz on the air. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. I yeah. think uh, quite the ejaculation that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that's a joke. I think you literally just put an ejaculation in that sentence. We well, no, that's that. like that's like an exclamation. That that's, an that's where the word comes from. So it's. Like <laughs> <laughs> Why are you touching it? Anyway, Sundays live right here, <laughs> Chat Pack Live, the podcast. That's what you just watched. That's what we just finished up. We are gonna get back active, playing some video games. I don't know if we're playing video games tonight because it's hot as hell in so here. So hot. Everyone's been doing stuff oh. today, doing some random stuff. But we're gonna start getting on it. Tuesdays, I believe, are Trevor's Tuesday afternoon gaming things. Wednesday, <laughs> Caleb and I are gonna play some iDarber. We're gonna do some competitive stuff in the middle of the week. We're going to start doing stuff after the show. We're going to... Ben and I have a... If you're interested in some Civ with a little bit of commentary, Ben and I have some archive stuff from when we played. We're going to start watch playing... Paul Holden lose. Yeah, I lost. Pretty brutally. Hey, spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know... Anyway. At the end of the day, we're going to start playing more creative games. We're going to do some cool N64 stuff. A lot of cool stuff is coming. Thank you for tuning in to Chat Pack Live. Follow us here on Twitch, twitch.tv under, or slash chat underscore pack. Follow us on Twitter, chat pack live. Follow us on YouTube, chat pack live. Follow all of us on Twitter at all of our different things. <laughs> That'll pop up on this, on the video on demand. Have a great week. Go do something cool and always remember one thing. Caleb still, still. sucks. Woo! We out! It's episode three, motherfuckers! Woo!